Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my step-by-step -step guide on how to beat the Shattered Throne for the Solstice of Heroes chess play. To masterwork it, you have to do a Shattered Throne with either one or two players in the fire team. So I put this together to hopefully help some of you, some people that haven't beat this or need to beat this and they're not used to doing it with one or two players. This first area we're going to be going into has eight bosses. So you kill the knight to start with to access the areas. Then you've got to go around. Every time you kill an, a, a, an, an ad or a boss, clear that area of all the little kind of acolytes and acolytes' eyes. And then a sigil will appear, telling you what, what plate you've got to go to next. Once you've completed all six plates, you will be told to go back to the start where you'll fight a taken captain. And that's this first area finished. So, weapon set up. I have, as you can see, I've got a bow. I've got the Subtle Calamity with uh, Rampage, Explosive Heads, and uh, Major Spec. I have Perfect Paradox Primary Shotgun and the Thunderlord. My armor, I have all Transcendent Blessings on. My helmet has Machine Gun, Heavy Lifting and Machine Gun Reserves. My gauntlets have Machine Gun Loader and Machine Gun Scavenger. Chest Plate, which is what we're doing this for. Um, I, I actually rolled it first time with machine gun, uh, unflinching machine gun and bow reserves. And I'm using Cade's Bond, so that's heavy ammo finder. I've also got Lunar Faction Boots. I will be switching between Lunars and Skull of Diaram Kara. Every time I'm going to use my super, just before, I will switch the, the skull. I know when I'm going to use my super. And the reason I know when I'm going to use my super is because I only use super in this first area on the Taken Captains. So the Taken Captains are only at Fire Breathing Dragon, which is up top left. And when you come back to this area, Diving Bird. I use my Machine Gun on the Cabal. I use Thunderlord on the Cabal, which will be at Two Fish and Infinite. I use Shotgun for the two Snipers, which is Single Bird and Single Fish. And I use a combination of machine gun and shot, normally just machine gun on the on the, the the Minotaur, which is at W Snake. So every time you come out of this room, you can only go left or right out of this room until you've cleared it, until you've cleared this area, and then you drop down in the center. When you come out of this room to the left, you're going to be greeted by this wave of ads. They're kind of proximity ads. They won't come out until you go so far out the door. That's the same when you go left and right you'll have this wave of flash ads when you go to single bird which is out to the right and up the ramp once you get to the top of the ramp go so far forward you'll be greeted with another one of these flash kind of <clears throat> flash mob of ads so this is infinite behind us that tower was fire breathing dragon and just to, just to the the right of where we're looking now so over by that sniper is uh Two fish. So on the left, you've got in order two fish. As soon as you come out that it, where we were greeted by the flash mobs, as soon as you come out that area to the right is two fish. Up the top of the hill in the tower is fire breathing dragon, and then to the right of the tower, which is where we are right now, is infinite. They are the symbols you'll be looking for on the right. On the left, you have single bird, single fish, and W snake. Single bird. Single fish is the first area you you get to when you come out on the right hand side. Up the ramp slightly to the left is single bird. And then underneath the ramp, inside another tower, is W Snake. So that's that's the location of all the the sigils. Once you complete all six, you'll be the last sigil you'll receive is to go back to the middle, which is dive and bird, and you'll face a captain. So Machine gun on this boss here. So infinite is a, we take that, that, that boss out of the machine gun. We just seen that fire breathing dragon flashed up. That's for your Nova. Don't just throw the Nova as soon as you go in. You'll want to throw at the captain. Because I have had it where I've thrown my Nova and the captain's moved out the way. So what I try and wait, I clear out as many ads as I can. So as you can see, we'll go up, we'll have a look, see what ads we've got. Clear out some ads, then the captain will make his presence known. He will throw, and when he throws his darkness blast at you, you throw your Nova at him because he's stuck in his mechanic. He can't, halfway through throwing that darkness blast, he can't blink out the way. So, and, and you are harder to kill in your super. So now that we've done that, we will take out the rest of these. You have to take out every ad in the area for the next sigil to appear. 
So there, there's my next sigil. It's W Snake. That is over on the other side. W Snake. That's over on the other side. So we go all the way back down the hill. We're going to change now back to Waluna Factions. But uh, as you can see, my, my skull is only 700. For the purpose of this, being 750 isn't a requisite. You know, because it's, it's end of year content. But uh, yeah. I, I never bothered upgrading it, but I will switch every time I use my Nova. I'll switch back to it. As you can see, I only killed one enemy. I didn't really get a lot of super energy. It's just, it's it's a little bit less for me to worry about. So this is my second flash mob of ads. As you can see, I'm letting them all come close to me. And my grenade takes care of them, takes care of a whole host of them. I've been trying to, ever since I went for the hush, I've been trying to hip fire my, my bow. On these sort of ads, the reason why I do it is because it gives me a bigger field of vision and I've got a charged shot for when they jump at me. So they will jump out the way of your shots from, you know, range. Well, I was lucky with those. <laughs> anyway, you see we have our snipers at infinite. I jumped across to the platform and then jumped back. That activated the four snipers. There's a couple of snipers over here and there's one left. The one, the one that's left is the one down in, in here. Now, same as, the, there's two kind of secret ads as well, not really secret, the proximity ads. So here's one coming, and normally, this doesn't happen. The ogre came running at me, the minotaur came running at me. So I expected him to go back in, he didn't. It doesn't normally happen like that, but as you can see, we just run away, and now I'm, I'm, I'm in a position, my health's coming back, he is charging me. It's unfortunate for him because now I'm just going to do this. This is the way I normally fight him. So we do a combination of almost one clip, one clip of Thunderlord and Shotgun. And that's him. We don't want to use our supers on anything but the captains. And as I say, you've got two captains, two snipers, two cabal and one minotaur. There's a sniper up top in this room as well, so you want to make sure you get him as well because the sigil won't show while well, there's still an ad in the vicinity. There's the sigil, we've got two fish. So two fish is on the other side. So we will go there, take out two fish. Now as you can see, this is where I think I might have went wrong, but it, it served a purpose I suppose. Uh... I, uh, I, I think, I think I'm going to use my Nova for this, this, no, not the next boss. I think I used my Nova when I got up here. I might, I don't think I do. I do know I went the wrong way. <laughs> so up here, which is single bird. When you go up to single bird, you get these ads. So you get two of these little taken guys that spawn behind you, two that spawn in front of you. Two up here. And then when you jump up then you go so far forward. You're going to be greeted with a flash mob of ads. So as you can you jump up here. And this is when I realised I've made a mistake. Because I had nothing red on my map. So I'm going to do the same thing again. I'm just going to throw a grenade. Hopefully the ads will push. Some of the ads did. And that explosive effect takes care of a lot of them. And once I, once I clear this wave of ads, I will then go to the place I should have went to. If you ever get in trouble, you just jump back down. You're fine. There's no ads here. And I realized I came up to single bird. There we go. Realization sinking in. Ridiculous. Uh, two, two fish is round, obviously, as I've said. Yep, that's the acknowledgement that I'd done it wrong. Pick up some ammo if I need it. And we will go to two fish. And the two fish is a cabal. You are going to have one of those ads that jumps out the wall as well. So now we need Waluna factions. I'll just get rid of that blue. We we'll need Walunas because we're going to put a well down and just melt this boss. Now, because he's a cabal, obviously he's got that cabal shield. Uh, and another, another kind of thing, I'll just address this now. If you see heavy ammo lying about and you don't need... A full brick of heavy. Just jump over it and leave it. Try and save as much heavy as you can. 
So now we're just, we see an ad there. Oh, we've got more heavy. That's nice because we're going to burn quite a bit of heavy here. We want this captain to come out. And just put a bit on him. And that's the captain gone. Now what we're going to do is we're going to put a rift down right here. And we're just going to just through this gap. And the, as you can see the lightning effect, it does a lot to him. Stop firing. It does a lot to him, but it will clear out any ads around him as well. And that's him gone. So Thunderlord and the two Cabal guys works really well. We are going to have some snipers. So shotgun will work well for those. Single bird is where we just were. So now I'm not going to get those flash ads. I can just go up and take out the cap, the, the sniper. So the ca at the end, I'll explain when we're dropping down. Just a recap of exactly where the, the, the bosses are. So single birds is out. Go back through here and up to the left. That single, that single fish that's over there, we've still got that to do. And I think we get lucky with this rotation because it's always better to do this. Well, it's not always better. It's a better position to be up on this ramp to fight the ads because the sniper is just relentless. So is this one, but this is one of them snipers with the one of the the, the, the sniper that's up here is a Vex one. The sniper that's down at the other side, I think, is as uh, I think the sniper that's down at the other side is a is a vandal. I could be wrong. It won't. Uh, would it be? Yeah, it might be. So I I ran in thinking I was going to put my well down, and I didn't have a well. So another thing I'm going to ask you guys. Uh, you know I like to ask questions during the video. Just it's it's participation more than anything else. Anybody that, that hasn't done this, that hasn't done the Shattered Throne, you know you guys know you can get mods for this, right? That will help you taking armaments, taking this, taking that. But you can get them without beating the raid, right? Uh, let me know in the comment section if you guys would like me to show put a video up or show me getting both the raid chests. Without doing the raid. So. if And also for the boss. If you have Hive Invigoration. Or can it any. Hive Invigoration is a good one. Uh, because if you beat one of the, the, the knights. You'll get your class ability back. So obviously I'm doing this on the Warlock. I've done a flawless run on the Hunter. And the strategy is exactly the same as this. You know, the boss fight is a little bit different, but it's actually, it actually is a little bit simpler. Same, same kind of idea, but a little bit simpler. So, yeah, it's it's a, it's one of those mad kind of taking, uh, it's a labyrinth architect, but it's just, it's one of them weird taken ones. He doesn't have the, the retaliation blast the retaliation blast as you guys probably are aware of so that's us we beat all the areas we're going to back to the center now when you get that downward looking bird that's you going back to the middle so yeah the the retaliation burst is when when you hit snipers and they send those blasts after you that's what they're called retaliation blasts an absolute nightmare so what we're going to do again is just take out some ads try and try and kind of get the captain to come out play I don't want, I want, there he is, he's through his darkness at us, we throw our one over at him, jobs are good, and that is this first area cleared, no problem at all, uh, and we will talk again when we get to the next area. Now we've reached area two. This is the descent. It's basically a glorified shooting gallery with a running section at the end. You can take most ads from relative safety. And it's a walk in the park. It really is. In fact, it's probably the part of the Shark Throne I enjoy the most. This is the exact reason why I use bows so much. Bows do the job of a sniper everywhere but PV, PvP. 
you know, all PvE. They do kind of the job of a primary sniper uh, against these kind of smaller adds, but you don't have you don't have the danger of running out of ammo because they hold a lot more ammo and they're just they're just easier easier to use you know you feel division still open i was asked once i was told i wasn't asked i was kind of told that i clutch on bows and uh i i don't clutch on any weapon i don't think i use weapons that are best for the job and and for these kind of things bows are the best thing for the job for me i'm not i'm telling you guys what i'm using I'm not telling you guys you can't use anything else. So there's no other weapons for the job. So what I do is I clear out as many of those snipers as I can. Run up here, you'll have a cabal. One hit the cabal. Now you've still got two invisible minotaurs, some snipers, and a uh, taken captain. Taken captain, we really do want more super for the taken captain. So there's one of the minotaurs. The, the other minotaur we've almost killed. So there's a sniper. He's going to try and get a bead on us. There's one above him as well. There he is. So we'll take him. And we know that sniper's over the other side. This this minotaur's rushing us. That's what the shotgun's for. Shotguns. I like, I like to go. So I was talking with somebody about this. About raids. About best way to set your characters up. And they were telling me a story about somebody who was basically belittling them because they didn't have the mountaintop on. Literally, that was that was the conversation. So, as you can see, I don't have my super, so I ended up <laughs> I ended up merely in <laughs> merely in midair against nothing. We'll get my super very shortly. I'm just going to put an empowered grenade on him just to give him something to think about, and I'll just keep hitting him a couple of times. We've almost got my super. Yeah, so he was telling me about this and, and and how nobody should be able to tell anybody, you know, what weapons they can and can't use in a raid. And as I said to him, we just want him to fire his darkness blast again because if he doesn't, there we go. If he doesn't, he'll just jump out the way of the Nova. It, yeah, it, it, you, there is a way, there, there is a type of way I set my character up. So I like to have something that can deal, if, if, if there is ranges like this, I like to have something that can deal with range. I like to have something high impact, close range, and the best heavy for the job. You know, now if you're going into something with what you feel comfortable with, you know, then you can't really argue with that. Unless, of course, it does no damage for what you're trying to do. Make sure when you're at this part, I'll just say this quickly because I got, I love this part. I like testing myself with the bow. But you cannot stand at this doorway when those fiery knights are shooting at you. So go up on those stairs. And they won't fire at you. They'll just... They will kind of move out the way every now and again. But as you can see, the bow... The bow does a lot of damage. Go up to the other side. This is where I would take all the adds from. On the on, on left and right. Adds that are within your range. It's from up on these stairs. So yeah. If you're... You, you need to find out the best weapon for the job. And I suppose that's why a lot of people watch videos, is to find out the best weapons for the job. And for huh, 12 months, maybe more, I've had an idea for making a video with the best loadouts for PvE. Now, the reason why I don't, I've never made it, is because I kind of think to myself, who am I to be telling you guys what you should and shouldn't be using, or what's the best? You know? Because I could say, oh, yeah, this auto rifle is the best auto rifle for Crucible in my hands. Although I'm not... I'm, I'm, a, I'm a decent Crucible player. I'm just not... It's not what I... It's not what I, you know, put all my time and effort into. So PvE is. But telling you guys what, what I think the best is. Kind of, it's like, well, this is what works for me. And someone else could use it. It's like metas. I've spoke about metas before. Now, if this ever happens, you've seen... He meleeed me. He went to melee me. If I had just allowed that, I'd have been off. I didn't really realise there was one still there. So make sure that you clear out all the areas before you move to another platform. I was taking it... Uh, having too much fun, actually. If that ever happens, at the point where they're going to melee you, 
As soon as they melee you, melee them back. That melee will stop them being able to blast you away. It's the same as when, you know, before the before the bosses kind of big stamps, before they just killed you, when they just, like, threw you backwards. That was how you stopped that. You would still take the damage, but you wouldn't go anywhere. So, m melee them back at the point that they melee you, and it'll keep you right in front of them. Yeah, me metas are only good if that meta is a weapon type you use. So, I could say to you guys, oh, they're not forgotten as the meta, which is not anymore. But when it was, I could say, oh, it's the meta. And you could say, no good to me, I don't use hand cannons. Can't. I'm not comfortable with them. So, a me meta is a very subjective term, I, th I feel. So, people that say, oh, I found the next god roll. That's only really good if that's the weapon type you feel comfortable with or that you're, you're good with. Anyway, that is this area. You just kind of take everything from range and, and then you come to the ogre section. So what, what we've done is we haven't switched subclass. We are going to switch it, but we haven't because we knew we'd have, I knew we'd have a Nova. And I'm waiting, so I'll throw an empowered grenade at the first ogre and then I'm going to throw a Nova at the second ogre. So we'll make sure we're aiming at him. And then the next door <laughs> comes out, and the Nova was like, I am not going all the way over there. And that's why I didn't change, so I could use the Nova on one of the ogres. As soon as we take this ogre down, we're probably going to change to our next kind of subclass that we're going to need for the main ogre. Which, I have a feeling not a lot of people are going to be watching this part, because... The ogre and Dalakaru, the boss, are what people are really interested in, because they're quite tough. I think, I'm hoping that you'll agree, the way I do the ogre, it kind of makes it easy. Because it, because it is. We are going to two-phase him, but we're hardly ever going to be in any trouble. It's the exact same way, almost, that I've done it before. This is just on the Warlock. You know, the last time was on the Hunter, so we had Golden Gun to make up for, you know, uh, Empowering Rift. Now, if you were doing that on the Titan... Which, I'm, th I'm wondering, if you guys, if there's any Titan mains out there that think you're not getting any love in the Shattered Throne, let me know. I'll, I'll, I'll try and knock out a Shattered Throne for you guys. Uh, I'm saying I'll try, because I don't want it to sound like, yeah, yeah, I'll just throw one out there. I know a lot of YouTubers are like, yeah, I'll get on that tomorrow. I'll get on that in an hour. The reason why you don't see a lot of those is because the Titan, probably for the boss, will, will struggle the most. He won't struggle totally. But he'll struggle the most. But for everything else, the Titan can do everything that the Warlock and the, the Hunter can do. And if there's anybody that's wanting to see that, there is a Hunter run already, a flawless run. This, this is not a flawless run. It should have been. I did not die from an ad. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say. So, if I had have been more focused at that point, this would have been flawless. And it is a flawless strategy. Once you get it down, this is very easy to flawless. So, when it, with the ogre section, as you can see, I'm, I'm not pushing. Now, there are ways you can skip this whole section. I know that. Left-hand side, Titans are good with doing it. I think Hunter can do it with Stompy's on. Uh, but we're not doing a speed run, which is a problem I've got with the 200k. It's a 200k, although I've done one, and I will do another one this week. The problem with it is, it kind of, uh, it kind of, uh, it, it supports, or it's better suited to people that enjoy speedrunning. Now, I ran over there to get ammo. I would suggest you never do that. Never go, when you, always go to the open section. But what happened was I activated the last two ogres. Right? So you'll see when we jump over here, you'll notice something. I'm literally just within range. See, if I'd have been two steps more forward, that ogre would have started shooting at me. See how his eye went really bright? That's because he was getting ready to fire. So we can take him out from range and we can forget about the other ogre because that's us at the end of this section. The, the warlock... All the classes do this jumping really well, but if if you're someone that, that kind of, you know, struggles a little bit with jumping, Warlock is good for this stuff. But you can't really you can't really dictate if you haven't, you know, because you're doing it on what class you need to for, for, 
the armor. So what we're doing now, we're not switching up ammo, uh, armor for any spe specific reason, except to get mobility. Now you are going to see I'm going to put the recluse on, right? I'm putting the recluse on because it's a lightweight frame. Got nothing to do with the weapon's capabilities. If you have a lightweight frame, put it on for this part and just jump. Just keep hopping. This is, this is the kangaroo court. Just bounce your way through this thing. You'll see I'm going to put, I'm going to a place in a second. If you're on a character uh, that doesn't have high mobility and you get this two parts like this, you can go up here, just move along a bit. Now, I'm putting an empowering, empowering greenie down, but you can just wait there and just, if needs be, wait till your health comes back. I don't think it will come back, but I think once it's gone in here, it's gone. But you can maybe go up there and change, you know, mobility's too low, you need more mobility. You're safe there, and you're safe at the same place over here. Over here, you're safe up there, right? Now, I, I obviously, I've got full health, and I'm bouncing around them, so no problem there. But yeah, Warlocks, once you change, as you can see, we change to uh, Empowering Rift. You've got that grenade that will give you an overshield. So we'll just jump up here just in case any little shadow thrall is still following us. We'll change back to our original settings. And I will speak to you guys again once we get to the ogre. So here we are guys, this is Vorgoth, the Boundless Hunger, the Ogre of the Shattered Throne. Uh, a lot of people have, or a few people have had, said that this is kind of a problem for them. Once I kind of got my strategy down, I didn't really think it was too much of a problem. So we're going to be using the same weapons, the same armor that we used from the start. So for anybody that's coming late, or anybody that wanted to just see what I was, I've used, it's the exact same as I've used all the way through. So Thunderlord. We're going to be using Perfect Paradox as our primary shotgun, Subtle Calamity, Thunderlord, uh, Heavy Ammo Finder, Lunar Faction Boots, obviously the Solstice Robes, Gauntlets, and as you can see, my Gauntlets and my Helmet are all geared towards Machine Gun Reserves and Machine Gun Usage. So drop down here to the left if you can make it past that tiny little barrier that was there. And we're going to have two safe zones. One is here and one is right in front of us. When the ads come this way, or the, the, the wizard, or whenever, I will go to the other side. I spend most of my time on the other side, to be fair. So the, the plan is, so you've got Vorka spawned in, then the wizard spawn in, and then the ads. You want to clear the ads from your section as fast as you can, right? As you can see, this little corner here gives you some protection. And breaking a wizard shield gives you some protection. If you break a wizard shield, she will run and hide until her shield comes back. Now, I also try and put some damage on. So the setup of the room is, you've got a wizard, two two snipers, and two goblins at each four points of, 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 of the strike, of the, the, the room, the strike, of this part of the throne. 
right side that I'm shooting at now, where we are now, which we'll class as the front, left side, which I've been shooting at, and the back. The back is the only place you can't shoot it from here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try and clear those ads from here, that left side, which we're shooting at now. That's the left wizard. I'm just trying to bring her down a little bit. And the right side, which is over there. Once we've got most of the ads down, <clears throat> all the ads from the left, all the ads from here, and I can, I can live with only one ad being left on the right, then we'll do that. We'll take this wizard down. We'll just have a little check. We can go over here. We can check the right-hand side from a bit of cover here. We know that there's still an ad up. Now, as you can see, we've got Petitioner's Mark on. We take the left-hand wizard from here as well. Petitioner's Mark <clears throat> is what that orb gives you. And it gives you 40, as you'll see here when we pick this one up, it gives you a specific amount of time to collect the next orb. 45, 44 seconds. But if you drop a wizard, you have like 10 seconds or so, or so to pick that orb up. So it's not worth dropping wizards until you're ready. So what we're going to do now is just make sure there's no ads. Now, I do use a bit of time here because she's she's went into hiding. She's still shooting at me. Now I've got 20 seconds to kill her. And I want her to come out a little bit more so she can't run away too far. Put a couple of shots on her. And then we're going to jump, go behind, and shotgun. That's what the shotgun's for, is if we need to push wizards, we can push. We can just wait here, we've got tons of time. And then we'll just shoot this wizard a couple of times. Every time you shoot a wizard a couple of times, they'll do that, they'll go into hiding. So, run over at this pillar for the left-hand side. And charge your shot, she'll, she'll come out to the right and... There you go. That's the first we've done. Now we've got petitioner's burdens. We want the ogre to move to the left a little bit. Because we're going to run back to the side we were at to start with. And we're going to slam on this right-hand side pillar here. This vase type of thing. Slam. Make it over here. Turn and put down your rift. Now, you don't have to worry too much about those those uh, trackers. You don't have to worry about them too much. But you'll see what we want is to put about two-thirds health. Once he gets to his two-thirds, we're done. Just take a couple of those out. And now we're going to run back to cover. Now, the reason why I, I stopped is I want to be back in cover before the ads come out. Because you don't want to have to run back when the ads are already out. So, two-thirds health, run back, rinse and repeat. It's it's a very simple strategy. Take these ads. Once you take the ads down on your side, you're in a better position. Now, the, it's something you'll have to deal with with the take. And we'll just take, take our shield down. And just trying the goblins can be a bit 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 of a hassle. You know? Because they, they will shield the snipers. And there we go. That's one sniper down. Break the shield. Second sniper is down. Now we can take this goblin down. And we'll break that wizard shield. Now I expect it to run away. But she didn't. She shot at me quite a lot before she went. But she was going and shooting at me at the same time. I don't know if that was a mark of petulance or whether I just really annoyed her. So, the other thing is with these wizards, we're going to take this wizard now. The other thing with these wizards is, uh, if you aggravate them when they're too close to you, they will come and attack you. So you don't really want to aggravate them too much. So there's still a sniper up over the other side, and an ad, but it's not a problem because we've got 30 odd seconds and we put quite a bit of damage on the wizard, and the wizard's down. The reason, another reason I left, I didn't carry on doing damages, as you can see we didn't have a lot of heavy ammo. 
So we want to make sure we've got enough heavy ammo to complete the job. So we were left with 43. The helmet's got heavy ammo uh, machine gun scavenger on it, which is cool. So we'll go back down here. We're good. Throw down my grenade, get roll over shield, and just clear out some of these ads. Break her shield. The stealth sniper's up. Now that can be an issue, but that's why you've got this. Now, we are. this one's always the tricky one. It's always the tricky, tricky one. You don't want to let it go down to that time. Uh, but as you can see, my problem is I never went, if you've seen the way I went the first time, second time, I didn't go next to like the... the the place we slammed to start with, the vase, I call them vases, they're not called that, I can't remember what they're called. I went down there so the ogre couldn't hit me, but I had a clear shot on all the ads. That's we, down the side of these ones. So now, yep, down the side of this, but on the other side, that's where I, that's where I used as my cover. So now we're going to slam this one. You can't slam the same vase twice. So what we're doing is, we're just we're coaxing the ogre to go around and we're going to use this to, you know, we get here, we step out a little bit. Ogre doesn't hit us until we're out. Jump over here, get in the middle of these two, kind of, so we're right in front of them, and then put our, our rift down, and that's the ogre. The ogre's done. He's got no chance. And that is a very simple ogre run. Now we'll just finish these off. Now what we're going to do is we're going to switch weapons. Switch weapons, switch armor. Now, as you can see, I'm very lucky to have sniper target and armor reserves on the same as my heavy my machine gun, and I've also got shotgun loader, shotgun scavenger on the same as I've got my my uh, same helmet, same gauntlets. Now I'm going to change to the weapons I'm going to be using for the boss. So I will speak more about that when we get to the boss. Uh, run about this area, collect as much ammo as you can. There will be ammo lying about, and I will speak to you in the next area. You cannot afford the leisure of inaction. Once you reach this area up here, this is basically these next couple of areas is about getting ammo. Now, as you can see, we switched for ammo in the last room. We have got some heavy, but we want we need to have a, a bit more heavy than that. So you're gonna get these ads, no problem. Just stay back, melt them. Now I'm using I'm using a pulse rifle. I'm using the bygones with rampage. You can use whatever primary you feel comfortable with. I'm I picked something that was kind of I want to say a melt machine, but it's not really a melt machine, you know, a sustained sustained fire for the boss room. But I'll speak more about that at the boss. Literally what you're trying to do is get some heavy. Uh make sure you've still got enough heavy uh, special when you get to the boss. You're gonna have captains. As you'll see in the video, I pushed them with a the shotgun, but there's not really much to fight here. 
So just make sure in these areas you want to you're using these areas to gather heavy. Don't 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 rush it. Take your time. You know, everything can be done in this area from range. Anything that falls off those bridges will come back. So as you've seen two ads fail, they'll both reappear back up. And then your captains, as you'll see, I jump into them because the shotgun will finish them, shotgun melee will finish them really quickly. So you'll see that, but you'll you you'll see what I'm talking about. Uh and and that's 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 these parts. You'll see here I kinda so I come down on this guy, shotgun melee. Right? I'm not I'm not using trench barrel, I'm waiting for trench to go away so that people don't say, Oh, you're doing that because you're using Ikelos. I'm not. I don't proc trench at all. So as you can see, shotgun melee. There's two here. Shotgun, 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 shotgun. And then it's just was one left. Use a bit of cover here, shotgun, shotgun. And then do the same all the way through, and I will speak to you guys. Just watch watch what I'm doing in the video, and I will speak to you guys at the boss. So guys, we're coming up to the boss, so I, th I thought I would go through the strategy so that the boss fight doesn't take very long, so you've got an idea of what we're going to be doing when we get there. So we're going to be using the Whisper. You know that gun they said was broke? It's not broke. The nerf only nerf nerfed. I just don't see it getting used since the nerf, and it's such a good weapon. It destroys this boss. And using the Warlock, you can do it with the Hunter, you can do it with the, you know, the Titan, I think. I think hammers would do it, and as I said pre previously in the video, if you guys want a Titan run, if this Titan means, if I get enough requests for it, I'll do it. So basically what we're going to do is, we're going to charge up a shot, a whisper breathing shot, and put one on each of the knights to make them go. Then we're going to throw a charged vortex grenade to the left hand balcony, that will clear all the ads there. Whilst we, As soon as we throw that left hand one, we're going to turn to the right, and we're going to start shooting the right hand ads, clearing them. Then the three knights will come back. You throw your Nova in between the middle and left. It will hit the first one first, but hopefully it will share a lot more damage. They will disappear. If there's any ads, you can finish them off, but get into position at the back. In the little bit, you'll see me, it's back left. 
back rate, sorry, as you're as you're looking at dollar career, it's the back rate. Put down a rift, the ads will come. Pull your shotgun out. I think I take the first one with the pulse rifle though, because he had nothing. And then put the rift down. Don't go forward because you don't want to pick up any of the orbs. Finish them off with a shotgun. Pick the three orbs up and whispered breathing her. I think it's like seven or eight shots and it kills her. So for anybody that's missed the whole video, just wanted to see the boss fight, this is what I used. So I've got a bygones, a sustained rate of fire primary for the ads. I care loss. You you can uh, whisper. You can go with, I uh, you can uh, you can go with perfect paradox and maybe uh, hand cannon with firefly. But this is what I chose to use. And all my armor has transcendent blessings on. I have lunar factions on top tree nova, vortex and in an in, in, uh, healing rift. So if you run down the stairs to start, we we'll get them to turn, and then you come back, switch to the the whisper. And you're going to put an empowered shot, a whisper breathing. When you see it on the left, put one shot on each pretty quickly so it auto reloads. Charge grenade to the left hand balcony, clears all those ads. You then can clear these ads. The, the reason why I used our, our bygones with Rampage. Throw in between left and right, and it shares the damage. And then just finish the ad, any ads that are left on the right hand side. There'll be none on the left. Get into position. So I'm holding off to put down the, the rift. This first boss runs at me because he was headless, but he had nothing. So I finished him off with, with the pulse rifle. I've got an orb there, so I can't walk forward and just aim for headshots. And there you go. There's all the knights down. Go and pick up the orbs. You'll know you've got three because it will say final thought times three. Gives you the same amount of time as the, the petitioner's burden does. 44 seconds. Whisper breathing. I think I missed a shot here because she kind of done Kanye West's dance out a uh, gold digger. And more whisper breathing. And that's that's the end of the run, guys. 999,000. That's with whisper breathing with full catalyst and uh, full transcendent blessings on. And that's it, guys. Very simple run. Very easy to beat this solo. Uh, very straightforward, maybe not simple, just straightforward. I hope this video's helped you guys. If it does, a like rating would be brilliant. If you think other people will like this, a share would be awesome. Uh, thanks a lot for watching, and I will see you in the next video.